Hi, this is Brooks Whittington with HalfWheel.com. Today we're taking a look at the Paleo V-Cut Cutter. Uh, now, as you can see, this comes in its own uh, nice little gift box there. Open it up and you see the cutter itself. Um, uh, this is a, a gunmetal gray, kind of bland for my tastes, but it is what it is in terms of that. It does come in a couple of other colors, white, black. All of them range in price from about uh, $18, the lowest I found online, to $24, give or take. But they're going to be right around $20 uh, in terms of uh, how much they cost. Now you take it out. As I was using these, this cutter, use it for about a month, uh, about five weeks, and uh, I found some some pretty good things about it. First of all, this notch here, which is where your um, which is where your uh, your finger goes when you're cutting, uh, gives you a lot of uh, control over how much uh, not only how much pressure you put on it, but also how much um, how much uh, uh, balance you have when you're cutting the actual cigar. Uh, it's extremely light, uh, 1.4 ounces. And that's you're light enough that you can actually uh, put it in your pocket, carry it around, forget about it, not have to worry about it. Uh, construction in terms of the physical construction is actually very good. Uh, I've been carrying it around, like I said, in my pocket, keys and everything. There's no scratches. There's no problems with that. Um, however, as I was using it, um, I found a couple of problems which, uh, which are going to be fairly significant. The uh, uh, first couple of cigars that I used it on that I cut with were fairly small ring gauges and it cuts extremely sharp. It's a very sharp cutter uh, when it's cutting um, small ring gauges or or any ring gauges, but it's, it's, it's it works very, very well when you're cutting small ring gauges. This is about a 40, uh, probably a 46 or so. Put this in there, push down, just like any normal V cutter. And you can see that uh, it has a fairly sharp cut and um, it, the blades, there's no problems with the surgical blades, which is what is uh, it's, it's used uh, in the cutter. Um, there's no problems with the blades themselves. No, the problem comes that the problem is, is that the well of the, of the uh, cutter is just too small, it's too short, too, too uh, not deep enough, I guess you'd say. Uh, it's just, especially when you're talking about larger ring gauge cutter uh, cigars. So let's call this a 60 ring gauge here. You put this in here, just like normal, cut it, and as you can see, it's just way, way, way too, too shallow of a cut. The actual cut itself is fine, but the, sh the shallowness of the cut means that you just weren't getting the uh, good um, draw that you needed off of a, a cutter like this. Now, you could change this very easily, fix this problem, and I did multiple times by just cutting again, making a nice X there, the X gives you a little bit of a deeper draw and there's no issues with that at all. And that usually fix the problem for me. Um, but it shouldn't need to be that way. Uh, for smaller ring gauges, 48 ring gauges and below, 50 ring gauges and below, um, this is an excellent cutter. Um, very sharp, very easy to use, very cheap um, and uh, very light. Um, take a look at the difference when you're talking about a Zycar. Just a nice easy Zycar here. Take this, push it in. Bam, you got yourself a very nice deep cut as opposed to this one, which as you can see is not even close to as deep. Very big difference and a very big uh, difference, not only in cut, but also in draw when you're doing that. So should you buy this uh, cutter? Uh, well, if you're, sh if you're smoking almost exclusively, uh, you know, 50 ring gauge and below, I would say it's a pretty good deal. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, there's no problems with the cuts at all in terms of the sharpness of the blades or the quality of the cutter. The only issue is when you start getting into larger ring gauges, uh, you've got issues with the uh, shallowness of the cut of the, I mean, of the, um, well, the cut, yeah, of the well that it goes into. Um, if it was just a little bit, um, just a little bit deeper, I think it'd be a great deal for everybody. But uh, as it is, small ring gauge smokers only. For uh, other reviews of uh, cutters, lighters, and humidors, and other you know, cigars, uh, check out halfwheel.com.